Good day everyone, again this is Teacher Alvin, your Telerific Teacher. Today, we will discuss about sewing household linens. Get your ball pen and your notebook and try to take down notes all the important details about the sewing of household linens. Let's go! Sewing of household linens Objectives of the lesson Classify tools and materials according to their use Prepare a project plan for household linens So creative and marketable household linens as means to augment family income Assess the finished products as to the quality Using rubrics Big idea The basic tools in making a garment include those used for measuring, marking, cutting, and sewing the right choice of materials as the proper use and maintenance of tools and equipment will make garment making easier and enjoyable. Sewing is a worthwhile hobby but it can also be a means of livelihood or a way to augment the family income. Can be a productive hobby and can be later become a profitable livelihood. Tools needed on a sewing project. Measuring tools, cutting tools, marking tools, and sewing tools. Complete tools greatly contribute in making garment construction easier, faster, more efficient, and enjoyable. Measuring tools include the following. Tape measure, usually made of cloth or plastic. This is used for taking body measurements as well as cloth and other materials. Ruler, used to measure and draft lines on a fabric or pattern. Metal gauge, movable marker that measures short distances and correct thickness such as distance between buttons, plates, and hems. Hem gauge, used to measure the correct hem of the cloth. French curve, used in drafting curves in the pattern of the arm, neckline, and crotch. Meter or yardstick, used to measure fabric. Taylor square, used for the correct measurement of lines in the right angle. Curb stick, used to have accurate curb lines in skirt. Cutting tools, include the following. Embroidery scissors, small scissors designed for needle work. Dress making shears, Big scissors used for cutting fabrics. Pinking shears. Scissors with serrated blades or zigzag edges. Similar to saw. Used for cutting fabric edge to prevent it from fraying or raveling. Light trimmers. Used for small cutting. This tool has one point blunt to prevent the fabric from snagging. Brent handled shears. Shears with straight blades and a handle that is offset at an angle allows the lower blade to stay flat in cutting surface. Sewing scissors used for trimming seams and facings. Thread clippers, a small tool used for snipping thread. Seam ripper, this tool is used to open seams as well as other detailed work. Stitch Reaper, a small tool made of metal used to remove stitches. Marking tools include the following. Tracing Wheel, marking tool with saw tooth blade used to transfer the marks in the pattern to the fabric. Taylor's Chalk, this is a hard square wax usually colored orange used to mark the seamless or sewing lines in fabric. Tracing paper used with a tracing wheel to transfer marks from the pattern to the cloth. Soft pencil used in pattern construction. Sewing tools include the following. Needles, sewing tool that has one sharp end and a hole at the other end to make the thread pass through. They come in different sizes and are used in sewing to pass the thread through the cloth either by hand or machine. Long darners, long thick needles suitable for mending holes in heavy fabrics. Cotton darners, fine points, used for darning, suitable for delicate yarns such as cotton and silk. Beading needles, 
very long and fine with a sharp point used for decorative work particularly for attaching beads and sequins curved needles used in mattressing and upholstery work ballpoint needles used between knit yarn fibers straws longer needles than between used for tucking tapestry needles strong thick needles that have a sturdy blunt point suitable for working tapestry and needlepoint projects embroidery crowell needles sharp medium length needles with a long eye through which are threaded strands of embroidery thread Glovers or leather hand needles, sturdy with round eye and triangular point, suitable for pursing both leather and strong plastic fabrics. Example of different kind of stitches. We have the running stitch, base stitch, back stitch, invisible ladder stitch, cut stitch, whip stitch, and blanket stitch. Activity time, read the directions carefully, create the marketable household linens in your home, and try to evaluate your work using our rubrics. And answer the following questions as your assessment. Thank you for watching my video. Hope that my video give you a lot of information about sewing a household linens. Shout out time!